Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd do something a little bit different today and share with you what I would call the word on the street. And it is the massive amounts of emails that I receive, not only on a daily basis, but really on a weekly basis and things that never really make it to a video because I just have so many things that I have coming in that I choose the articles or emails that I think are most most relevant to what's going on now. But I wanted to share with you a lot of th the things that are going on and I'm going to go ahead and expand on a few things here that... Uh, have been emailed to me instead of just sharing with you the subject of the email now I have great news for Alaskans in my opinion this is great news you probably noticed that this video is sponsored so thank you very much Opus for sponsoring this video but I found this out from one of our community members and it seems that it's been for a few days now that Opus has announced that that uh, there will be shipping to Alaska so I believe they're charging $50 for shipping to Alaska, but in my opinion, that's a great deal compared to how much it costs for them to actually ship those units to Alaska. Thank you, Opes, for sponsoring this video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're in the market for a quality solar generator, Opes makes a good quality solar generator at a very competitive price. My favorite is the Opes 2400, or what I like to call the beast. I have a 25 cubic foot refrigerator and it can run for more than 16 hours on one charge. So whether you need one for a refrigerator, freezer, medical or personal devices, I'm sure that Opes has a size that will fit your needs. Check below the description of this video and on a pinned comment for the link to their website and a code that can save you from $50 off of the 2400 watt model and 15% off any other product on the Opes website. Again, thank you, Opes, for sponsoring this video. Now, this is actually an email that I received like seven days ago or six days ago, and I'm just now getting to it, ladies and gentlemen. But check this out. This email says, email campaign worked, exclamation mark, meaning that a lot of people emailed Opus from Alaska asking, hey, why don't you ship to Alaska? And it seems that it has worked. And there is a screenshot of a reply from Opus who says to this person, Hello, I am writing to let you know that we can ship the 2400 watt solar generator to Alaska now. But since the shipping to Alaska will be much higher than other states, we had to add $50 to Alaska orders, which in my opinion, I think that's a pretty decent deal. So that's great news in my opinion for people in Alaska that want to get a solar generator, but they, they just could never get it shipped up here. So thank you very much, Opus, for sponsoring this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm just going to go down all of the subject lines, and then I'm going to expand on a few of these. First one I have here is Mississippi River conditions and the latest supply chain crisis. As you all know, uh, more than likely by now that there are some ships that are stuck in the Mississippi River because of the lowering water levels. And that is going to affect, uh, you know, more than likely will affect the price of things and how much product there are on the shelves. Let's see here. Harvest Guard Sale. I've never dealt with this company before, Harvest Guard, but supposedly they're like a tattler lid. So if you're in the market to get like tattler lids, I have some from several years ago that I've got put away in deep storage uh, or in deep freeze as I like to call it. Uh, so I don't need any, but if you're looking out for some tattler type lids, this company here seems to be having them on sale. And as you can see here, this is their website. I'm not affiliated with these, ladies and gentlemen, but they seem like they're Tatler Lids, just a different brand. And as you can see, here is the price for the for the uh, quartz, and here is the price for the regular mouth. And that's for 50 each. That's actually not a bad deal, I would have to say. For 50 gaskets and 50 lids, that's actually not a bad deal. Uh, and as for those of you that don't know what these types of lids are, they're, they're lids that you can reuse. You can reuse the lids and the gaskets several times. From what I understand, like I said, I have some, but I haven't used them. I have them in deep freeze. So go to Harvest Guard Reusable Canning Lids. And if you're in the market for that, go for it. And thank you very much to the person that sent me this email. And here we have another one, Dangerous Water Levels in the Mississippi River. 
ships stranded on the Mississippi. So I get more than one email of the same subject matter, ladies and gentlemen. This one here says, Alaska Prepper, I just saw this breaking news that BPA is being put in sportswear for kids' sportswear. Let's take a look at this one. Here it says that popular athletic clothing brands have high levels of hormone disrupting chemicals, i.e. BPA, watch the watchdog group. Sports bras and athletic shirts of some of the major global sports brands were found to contain dangerous levels of estrogen mimicking BPA, posing a considerable risk to people's health, according to legal notices sent by the Center of Environmental Health. This is what I call and I've called in the past, ladies and gentlemen, slow kill. I mean, they put these small amounts of chemicals in our foods, in our clothing, deodorants, toothpaste, etc., etc. And of course, this is all my opinion, of course, right? Because I have to say this I'm on the internet uh, that that take away minutes, seconds, hours, days, and years of your life when you compound them all together. So this is my, in my opinion, this is just another way of slow kill. And we have one here that's talking about how the snow crab season here in Alaska has been canceled for the first time ever. And it says the Alaskan Department of Fish and Game has, for the first time in state's history, canceled the winter snow crab season in the Bering Sea due to their falling numbers. An estimated one billion crabs have mysteriously disappeared in two years. And I did actually go and read the article for this, and it seems that there's a minuscule amount of male crabs left, which is very important. You need the male crabs just like you need the female crabs, but that also the female and baby crabs are also disappearing as well. And here, this email, and I've gotten several of these emails. Watch, water crisis, drought, and filtered lies. And what this is referring to is an, an YouTube or a YouTube um, video that was put up by this gentleman here who's questioning why is it that all of a sudden now uh, the, the um, uh, effectiveness of all of these types of water filters are being questioned when they've been around for years. At the same time that we are having major water problems with droughts, with Mississippi River running dry and stuff like that, that all of a sudden it's now that all of these water filter videos are coming out where they're saying this water filter is no good, that water filter is no good. So kind of an interesting video. So you may want to go take a look at it water crisis drought and this one here says i found this on newsbreak amazon sends new warnings about the economy and the reason i want to share this one with you is because amazon is kind of like a walmart it's kind of like a bellwether as to how the economy is doing and if amazon is now sending out warnings about how the economy is in a downturn more than likely is because it has been already right it's already been in a downturn and the average person on the street already knows this ladies and gentlemen so continue to prepare because i don't see things getting better in general anytime soon the next one a new report discussion with scott tips inside the codex and new food factory categories or new food categories now this one is very interesting i think that i will actually leave the link to this one so you can check it out and what this here is talking about and the person that sends me this says i am so grossed out by this article not only, not only do they want us to eat insects, but the types of meats that they want to provide for us in our new dystopian future is what really grosses this person out. And if you go and take a look at this article, you will see exactly what they mean. They're talking about dogs, cats, rats, actually engineering them so that they can feed them to human beings. And here is another one that's very interesting to me. Mobilization Endgame. It is done. And uh, this person says, if this doesn't scare you, then nothing will, I guess. And this is a channel about a gentleman who lives in Russia. And he's been covering what's happening there during this thing that's going on between the big R and the big EU. And what he's saying here is that they are using facial recognition in order to impede travel of young men who would otherwise be drafted into the military if they leave the country 
So it's pretty interesting on how they're using facial recognition. Uh, they're messing around with their bank accounts and stuff like that. And ladies and gentlemen, this is just a great example of what will happen here in the United States once we enter into that digital currency that they want us to enter into. And then they apply a social program to that digital currency once they eliminate cash. So I see this coming to the United States and let me tell you why. Not because I want it to, but because the people are going to be in despair. They, the government and these people that want to run the world, they're gonna wait till the people are in despair. Till the people will do anything in order to get that loaf of bread from the government. Then, then they're gonna say, well, if we eliminate cash and just go on this system 100%, everything will be just fine. And most people will fall for it. And the reason why I say that is because, as you all know, 60 plus percent of people, of families in the United States, they live paycheck to paycheck. So it's only gonna take that next crisis. It's only gonna take that next Great Depression for people to fall for it. I mean, look at what happened during our first Great Depression back in the 1930s, 1929, 30, whatever time frame, you know, it was around there. Uh, the people were in such despair that they allowed the government to introduce all of these policies that pretty much ended up making the people the ward of the government right the government taking care of them providing them with the government can you imagine that how can the government provide you with a job whenever the government provides someone for a job is because they have to tax someone else for that money that they're paying you but ap we need the military we need this yes there are some things that we must have i believe that we do have to have a standing army now unfortunately i believe we do because of the world that we live in so we do need to pay some taxes in one way or another but not to the level that we're paying now because the way that we're paying taxes now ladies and gentlemen or the way that we're being made to pay taxes now is a way which keeps the government more powerful year after year it gives them more power year after year remember that the money that you earn that is your freedom and that is exactly what they're using to enslave you but i digress this one here says, Cisco National Food Distributor truck drivers are on strike. And uh, right here it says, strike against National Food Distributor Cisco started in Syracuse and now it is spreading. Stock up, ladies and gentlemen. That is why we prepare. Another one here, ladies and gentlemen, Berkey Water Filter Scam. I think they mean scam and class action lawsuit. I guess Berkey is in deep water right now and deep poo poo. But ladies and gentlemen, like I said, do your research. I saw a video where a water purification professional actually tested the water that came out of a water Berkey, out of a Berkey water system. All right, tongue tied there for a minute. And he said that all of the levels in that water were appropriate, that they were good, that they didn't have levels that were alarming to where it will hurt you. Now, where Berkey says that they take out 99.9999999, maybe so for the first few hundred gallons or so, or for the first however many gallons, but then it may degrade. Uh, but this water filtration professional said that the water that came out of the Berkey was fine. I'm comfortable using my Berkey, but you have to do your own research and do what you feel is best for yourselves and your families. Another one that I think we might have talked about briefly during our live stream is that Kroger and Albertsons, it looks like they're going to merge into one corporation, meaning that they're going to have even more power over the monopoly of food, of how you get your food. And uh, that may not seem like a big deal, but in a way it really is. Uh, here, this one, banks hit massive outage after central bank loses record amount of cash. I believe this is coming out of Australia. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this here is Michael. This guy is a great guy, and he's one of those finance channels that I visit pretty much on the daily. Great guy. He's from Australia, and it says here, banks are hit by a massive outage after central banks lose record amount of cash. Ladies and gentlemen, as I stated on my previous video, and watch my previous video for today. If you haven't watched today's first video, go check it out. Uh, so yes, uh, banks, this is going to continue to happen more often in my opinion. Uh, I'm actually starting to get a little bit worried myself, but remember that worrying will do absolutely nothing for you. It's the actions that you take that will actually help you out. So do what you need to do in order to make sure that you and your family are secure in whatever way it may be. All right, Make sure that you have a little bit of cash available 
that you can get to easily in case something does happen to the banks. And that's my opinion. That's what I do. But that's what I would tell my brother to do and have. And this one here is somewhat interesting. Uh, Tampa Wally World. So Tampa Walmart culling product or culling good product. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what they say here. And here this gentleman says, during the recent Hurricane Ian, power on my grid was purposely shut down. I assumed to attempt to mitigate any possible storm damage, but my area only had a bit of wind, a uh, low mile per hour gust, uh, light steady rain, and a lot of cloud cover. While walking my dog during this time, I noticed that the grid at a Super Wally World was on just a couple of blocks away from, from I, I'm assuming he means from where he lives the entire time, and never went off. I attempted to shop there Friday morning, but uh, but was delayed supposedly due to down problematic cooler issues. So he was delayed because of cooler issues, which required food trashing, which required them to throw away the food. Now, this is the interesting part. He says, I have a longtime friend that works there, and this person told me that they were one of the management staff tasks with this disposal, with throwing away the food, and that they found that none of the food they were ordered to dispose of was bad in any way, shape, or form. They culled the entire dairy department, meat, deli produce, and all of the store frozen food section. Well, I don't even know what to say about that. Some people may say, well, it's just a tax write-off, this and this and that. I just hope, I would wish that they would let people go in their dumpsters and grab food that they wanted to grab, you know, instead of it letting it completely spoil. This one right here is pretty sad. Let me open this one up right away. It says here, thank you for your channel. Thank you very much. I have a few friends who are retired vets. The Hawaii Pacific Rim VA Hospital just told a friend who had surgery and needs a catheter out of his you know personal part from surgery that the state of hawaii va hospital is taking no one but active duty military now so this gentleman has a catheter up his private part right and they are telling him that hey we can't take it out you're just gonna have to live with that catheter in there until we have someone that can do it because we're only taking military active military unit active military members Hawaii Medical is so short of public doctors and nurses who are who are quitting in who are major quitting in the islands due to a shortage of medicine, supplies and help. Third world country, ladies and gentlemen, you hear these stories come out of third world countries. And now they continue to say he cannot find anyone to take it out. He just found one place after one month's wait. And they continue to say, I work a hospital a long time ago. I guess I worked at a hospital a long time ago. This news means we are near third world country medical help. Yes. Uh, talk to another vet. He needs a doctor. His doctor is quitting without notice. And no one in the public is taking new patients. He needs medical help now. What the government here has left their vets out in the street. Yes. Tell your people to beware. Um, and have a backup to your doctors. Thank you very much for this email. And it just goes to show, ladies and gentlemen, we are turning into a third world country. If you cannot see this with your eyes, if you cannot see the crime, if you cannot see people going into stores, into supermarkets, into convenience stores in swarms and ripping the place out and just leaving li like a swarm of locusts going into a convenience store and just grabbing everything that they can and leaving and leaving that store in, in, in disarray, then you cannot see it. You will not see it. If you don't see the crime on the streets, if you don't see the new laws that are being passed that say that if you do all of these crazy crimes that you would only have to pay bail, that you don't even have to post bail after you've committed a crazy crime. Layoffs at Microsoft. So here, it seems that layoffs are coming all over, ladies and gentlemen, not just Amazon, not just Microsoft. You can pick a company and there's going to be layoffs coming and they've already started. And here this poor soul here says, yesterday, alongside the majority of my colleagues, I learned that my last day at Microsoft will be this Friday, uh, October 7th. My 18 month contract has been cut short due to the current economic landscape. It's unfortunate that people have to work for a wage, right? Because of the 
because of how we're taxed and everything like that. But that is the world that we live in. But you can get yourself out of that wage worker mentality and create your own business. Do something. Go start a YouTube channel if you want. It may take years, but it can be a side thing. Just make sure that you do it about something that you're passionate about. And I, I've spoken on that several times. If you're going to start a YouTube channel, do it about something that you're passionate about. I'm passionate about what I do. I love doing this. What time is it now? Well, it's actually a little later in the day. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning now. But I've been out here since about 5 o'clock in the morning. And it's because I don't mind being here. I enjoy being here. Right now when I'm talking, I'm talking with you. I'm not just talking to a camera. But I enjoy doing it. So find something that you enjoy doing and make it a side hustle and who knows it could flourish it could not but if it doesn't pick yourself up and try it again all right because we all make mistakes but guess what that's your best teacher the mistakes that you make in life is your best teacher so don't give up and again here is the one that says that the email campaign worked i'm so glad that that worked man that's going to be so awesome for people in alaska that that they'll be able to get uh, a solar generator and because I enjoy solar generators more than a separate system for the portability and uh, because they're just plug and play you don't really need to know much except to plug this here push this button here it's not very difficult but uh, let me know if you enjoy this if not I'll just keep it to the regular thing maybe I'll do this like once a week to try to cover those things that I didn't cover on a video all right, so let me know if you like this. I'll try to do it maybe once a week or so. But I really do enjoy digging into a, an article or two or three whenever I put up the news videos because I usually do that with the ones that really interest me. But only because a lot of these didn't make the cut, I guess you can say. Uh, it's not a competition, but just for lack of better words, doesn't mean that they're not important. So having said that, have a great day. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your family. And again, thank you very much, Opus, for sponsoring this video. I'm Alaska Prepper. I am out.